my name is Julia and today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite podcasts f- at the moment or that have been for a while. Um, I know the lighting isn't ideal, but that's life, baby. And it's really hot. I don't know why I added that, but I just thought you should know. Let's get right into it. I'll just tell you my fave podcasts. Got them on my laptop. Let's go. Number one is Off Menu by Ed Gamble and James A. Custer. And this is a podcast for foodies, horrible word, or people who don't really want to talk about food or are interested in food, but want to know about life and its stories and how people eat. <laughs> Basically, it is Ed Gamble and James A. Custer who are British comedians, have a guest on every week and this guest has to tell them their dream menu. So it starts with what kind of water do you want? Sparkling or still? What would be the starter, the main course, the side, dessert? What would you drink, etc. And this is so fun because they they invite all kinds of people. Um, they're all famous people like comedians, actors, sometimes they even have cooks or politicians and it's just so fascinating and I have to say I'm not a person who's I like good food but I wouldn't say I'm like a person who's like really invested in food how, how it's made or like seeks out a certain restaurant because they've read good reviews and that kind of thing so I like food but I wouldn't I wouldn't have said I'm that interested in it but I really like the comedian so I decided to listen and I do not regret boy oh boy it's so fun and especially because it's so interesting because you don't realize what kind of associations you have with food before listening there was this one comedian evelyn mock who told i think i think it was her who um said she wants this certain food as a main meal because she remembers having this in hong kong and like talks about her experience then or others kind of um recount Um, certain things because it reminds them of their childhood or something their mother made and for example some say dessert just a cup of tea and a Kit Kat and all these kind of wild really interesting specific things that mean a lot to the person and through listening to this podcast you learn about what um yeah what kind of uh kind of a life these people lead and what they're interested in and it's just so funny it's so funny the next podcast i recently discovered it's saving my life right now <clears throat> is phone a friend by george ezra and ollie mn george ezra is like a very famous pop star and ollie mn is also a musician but i think he also did vine but i'm not 100 percent sure and it's just it's a podcast about mental health and their friendship so the idea is that there's just these two best friends who don't live in the same area so Ollie lives in Barcelona and George is in London and they just call each other and talk about mental health and their like daily lives and experiences and it's just so funny I think I love it because their kind of banter and discussions really remind me of me and my friends and I also think it's really nice because mental health is just such a taboo subject still sometimes especially in young men or generally men experience it and don't know or there's kind of a shame around talking about it and it's so refreshing to these two cool successful men just bearing their souls and giving us a chance to kind of listen and emphasize and relate and it's just so beautiful and it's so funny i like walk around with a big smile on my face when i listen to it and it's often embarrassing but thank god we get to wear masks right now the next one is for harry potter fans dan's that was the uncoolest thing I ever said and it's wizard team hosted by robin and bayana these two are um i think they're cousins they're related and and they just they kind of bonded over their love for Harry Potter and this this podcast started years ago and every episode is um, one chapter in the book and what's really special about it is they kind of they're part of this collective called Black Girls Create and this is kind of online hub for black creators to show their work and connect they look at the Harry Potter books through a critical lens and with like a black perspective and it's just 
such a kind of unique and refreshing and cool way to look at the books. And to me, like Harry Potter, I know is kind of difficult right now, speaking of she who will not be named, but um, it's just, like it's such a comfort for a lot of people and having Robin and Bayana talk about it in like a really funny and really, really smart way. It's kind of what the Harry Potter community does best, like makes you feel warm inside and it's funny, but it's also critical and interesting and they take no bullshit. And I'm I'm on book five, I think. So I started listening to it like two years ago and I've not, I like have phases where I just binge it and just, and then I need a break. But it's like, if you feel bad, you just put on Wizard Team and then you feel good again because they're so cool and so lovely. I really recommend it. So one podcast I recently discovered is called Imani State of Mind and it's by psychiatrist Dr. Imani Walker and it's also it's a podcast about mental health and mental illnesses. So I listened to a podcast about depression and she has like guests on who she talks about and because she's um, a psychiatrist she has like this medical point of view but she also experiences mental health issues herself and it's just really really smart and a really kind of fresh way to discuss these topics and it's also connected to current kind of social and also like pop culture-y themes that are happening right now for example um they talked about the black lives matter movement or how people are dealing in the in times of covid and these kind of things and it's really smart and it's just Imani is so lovely and so smart and it's it's like a joy to listen to and it's really educational. You really learn a lot at the same time. The ne next podcast is more kind of on a lighter note and it's called The High Low. And it's a conversation between Dolly Alderton and Pandora Sykes who are both writers and live in the UK in London. And I think they're in their early 30s. And uh, it's basically, they just talk about current affairs either like highbrow or lowbrow so they talk about just gen just life in general what what they've read what they've watched they talk about books articles films shows blah blah what's been on uh, the news and it's just so entertaining and I, I after every episode i have like a list of things i want to read and they did get some backlash because it's like people say they're like these two posh white women talking about like what have they got to say but I think they're like very aware of their privilege and their perspective in life and they're very like openly say um I like they <laughs> yeah they very openly like acknowledge their privilege and that they're able to live in a huge city like London are able to be writers for a living and I think I love that they're so open-minded and that they, they get guests on to talk about their experiences and it's just they're so clever and they have such kind of open views on just um, life in general and the thing I love most about them is that they make me want to live my life I don't because especially Dolly Alderton she's such a like a, a person who seems to just enjoy everything life has to offer just it's just the stories they tell about going out for drinks with her, their friends and um, just living like in London and just having fun. They do talk seriously about issues, but they also have this kind of ironic fun side to them, which is so lovely. And Dolly's book, Everything I Know About Love, I adored. It was so good. And Pandora has a new book out this year and I'm really, really excited to read that. So I definitely recommend it if you're like in search for things to watch, read, consume in general and the last podcast I want to talk about is I Wei um, by Jamila Jamil and I Wei was this movement which started to kind of counter the kind of weight loss culture that's re very present in social media so Jamila Jamil who's um, an actress activist used to be a tv host um, in the UK but now lives in LA she decided to like start this movement to say I weigh and then she says different things like I weigh my family, my my love for books, my fantastic career, my just everything that makes you you and unique and things you can be proud of is like um that's how much you weigh, it's not calories or 
how like how much you literally weigh on a scale and it's become this like huge movement which has now also been turned into a podcast and on every episode Jamila invites different guests and just talks about them for an hour and in the end they she says what what do you weigh and then they answer with like the most lovely um lovely answers and episodes I love were um for example with Beanie Feldstein who's an actress Ashling B who's um, a comedian and actress also Nicole Bayer who um, presents Nailed It on Netflix but my two favorite episodes have to say were with Alok who's non-binary and kind of just oh my god that episode just taught me so much I just realized how little I know about um, gender non-conformity and non-binary and just kind of how how small my kind of world view was and how I just didn't know a lot and wasn't aware of many privileges I had and just that episode like blew my mind and the other one I loved was, was with um, Scarlett Curtis um, who's also an activist and her kind of medical history so she had this kind of traumatic experience as a teenager where um, a lot of things happened and then she had she was like gaslighted for years about her own health and her own experiences and how that um, how doctors mis mistreated her and how that led her to have kind of a mental breakdown which led to depression and anxiety and I just love how Jamila Jamil often invites kind of these like Hollywood stars and she's so like out there and like direct and she swears a lot and she says what she thinks and it's so refreshing and so cool and I really, I really admire her. She's a really, I think she's a really good host and she emphasizes with the people and she just lets them tell their story and kind of, it's like just a natural conversation and it's so lovely. So these were the podcasts I recommend. I truly, truly love them. Um, so much entertainment, so much to learn, so much to hear. <laughs> I was gonna say see, but you hear them. Um, I would love to hear some recommendations if you have any in the comments and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.